Hello and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So this week I decided I am going to be focusing on my favorite vintage photo effects. Now a few of these, if any, are going to be my own. Uh, I just found these on the internet, uh, random tutorials. I just wanted to condense them all into one place. So today we are going to be starting off with uh, my first and most favorite one. Kind of hard to explain it, but uh, you'll see it. it it has a very nice vintage look. So to start off we are going to work with the brightness and contrast. So now with all of these you're going to want to use layer styles and smart filters so it doesn't actually modify the image and you'll see what I mean. So to start off let's click on our background layer go to filter and convert for smart filters. Now this is going to convert it to something like a, a smart object. So it's just modifying the layer and not the actual image. So you can always double click and go back to the original really easily. So let's go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then go over to brightness and contrast. And then just click OK right here. And now you'll see on this window. So right here I'm going to bring the contrast up, and, or the brightness up and um, and I'm going to keep the contrast at zero okay and then you can just forget about that go to layer new adjustment layer go to hue and saturation just click OK and then I'm going to put the saturation to 20 percent as well alright so now if I hide these if I hide these you can see that it didn't modify the image at all it just has a style pretty much okay so now that we have that we are going to want to modify the curves so again go to layer new adjustment layer and curves just click OK again and then over here we don't want to modify R G and B we just want to do one at a time so go to red and I'm going to slide this over a little bit and then just bring this down so it, uh, you can see it gives it a bit of a pink look. Maybe we can move this a little bit more. Okay, then go over to, oops, go over to green. And we're going to do a slight bulge up here. And then bring this one down over here. Very subtle, but it kind of evens out that, uh, the red color. And then go on over to blue. And then all we're going to do is drag this down and drag this up. Now you don't have to be precise with this. Every image is going to be a little bit different. Just drag it up until you get a good look. Uh, get a good look at the image or for the image. And you can always go back and double click on this and modify it if you don't like the way that it's turning out. But I'm just going to leave this as is. So now we want to give this kind of a vignette. I think it's pronounced that vignette. So where it's kind of dark on the corners. So to do that, I'm going going to go over to filter and lens correction and let me scale this in and then up here I'm going to click on the custom tab one thing you want to make sure is that auto scale is not checked sometimes that'll be checked just uncheck it come over to custom and this vignette, vignette or vignette whatever I'm going to drag it down just till I get something I'm looking for maybe 40 will work just so it's a little dark up here and just on the corner so click OK and you can see the effect and again if you don't like the way that th that that turned out you can double click these arrows here oops double click on lens correction and you see it'll pop up and you can modify that alright so I'm going to click on this top layer then go over to layer new adjustment layer and make another hue and saturation and now I'm making a new one because I want to click colorize so now that we have that checked I can drag this up to I don't know 53 and then I'll just leave this as is and what we did was gave it kind of a uh, sepia effect maybe I'll bring it to 45 so it has more of a brown you can mess with that and see what looks good for you and now when you have that set you can click on here and lower that opacity just drag it down 
and you can see the the higher the opacity is the more old it looks so I'm gonna leave it at something like this like 40 and now you can leave it at this or one step that I don't really like but the tutorial mentioned it is give it kind of a, uh, a pink look and I, I don't really like this but I thought I'd mention it anyways so let's give it this maroon or pink or whatever color you want to call it and then fill in a new layer with that and then we're going to lower the opacity down to about five or so and you can see what that did before and after I guess it looks alright but I prefer prefer without it but the choice is yours and that's going to finish up this first style if you have any requests or a image of something that you like be sure to post it below and maybe I can figure out how it's done and as usual you can send me a PM or write in the comments below if you have any questions or problems and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.